Okay, so this house is oh, just over a hundred years old and we've lived here about 10 years and there is a ghost actually a few ghosts here but the one we're going to talk about is one that we call George and uh, we see George usually outside you rarely see him in the house and he is a old man and usually is wearing like overalls and pushing a wheelbarrow or walking around with a spade or a hoe and it is pretty freaky to see him so we are out here in the light of day to show you where we have been seeing him the most and James if you will go over and show everybody where we've been seeing him several times a day for the past four days can you go stand where he has been standing So we've been seeing him walking by the steps there. Go ahead and go back out of sight and just do what you see him do. You know, go back out of sight where he comes from. James has gone out of sight and will show exactly what we see George do. All right, James, show us what he does. And then he's always gone. So we see him a lot out of the corner of our eyes. And uh, we look over there really fast. And of course, he is always gone. Alright, so we are going to show you some other, um, another place that we've seen George. And we have to go down this pathway. Into this kind of creepy area in here. I hate going in here. And where we have to go is in here. Uh, I don't really think I want to go. I don't really want to go in there. James, uh, you want to go in there? I'm just going to Hello everybody. No, no, I mean, oh, all right, here, very carefully, don't get hurt. You've seen them in these weeds with the wheelbarrow. And it's, it's creepy in here because well, we've seen them in here a couple of times and 
sometimes you you can't see where you're going when you're wandering through here. Don't fall off the cliff or edge there. Be careful. And uh he appears here sometimes and uh through this hole. So, you know, we've talked about who we think George might be, and we know that several families have lived in this house on this property since, you know, a little after 1900. And so there's a lot of possibilities, but George definitely looks like he has been. Um, like his clothes are old from a long, long time back. So he's probably from one of the first families here. And in fact, I think, it's my opinion, he may be the original owner and just doesn't want to leave, doesn't know how to leave. So, James, how many times have you seen George? I've seen him. I can't count how many times I've seen him. If you're just talking about the times that I've, I've seen him, but uh, there have been times that I've seen him every couple of minutes for a few hours. I once saw him very, very clearly when I saw his boot step by me when I was sitting inside eating dinner with everyone else. So you saw him through a window? Yes. And his boot, it was leather, and it just stepped right there. Besides that, I've seen him a couple of times in the weeds, and I've seen him over there a couple of times. Over where we were talking about? Through there? Yeah. And what kind of feeling do you get when you when you see George? Well, I don't feel very scared because um, I don't feel like even if um, even if he was mean, I don't feel like he can be very interactive. So, James. Uh, you said that uh, you, George doesn't seem like overly scary to you, but uh, can you tell me if you know anything about uh, who you think he might be? Well, I, I've heard that um, the original owner of this house came into hard times and was said to have committed suicide somewhere on the property. And I'm, well, I, I'm pretty sure that he is the original owner. I see. And, uh, does that, does that, you know, freak you out at all or are you good with that? Well, He just seems like he likes to do yard work all day, so I I don't know, but it, it is kind of creepy at nighttime. Every once in a while, when I have to go outside at night, and yeah, the, and the places where I see him sometimes, and sometimes when I'm just sleeping alone at night, it's a little creepy, and sometimes it sounds like I can hear him a little bit. Through the windows? Oh, yeah. Through the windows, through the walls, whatever. What kind of sounds do you hear? Sometimes just walking. Just walking when everyone's inside. Footsteps? You hear footsteps? Footsteps. Do you hear footsteps on the dirt or, or what? He's on the deck. 